If I lived in India, I'd be vegetarian just because the food is like phenomenal. And they always use cottage cheese. It's like the main staple in mean, veg food. And then obviously dal, but this paneer burji. Mmm. Like it's so good. It's so good. Hey, good morning everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in Tezpur, Assam, India, Northeast India. It's six in the morning and I'm here with my friend Honey. Honey is part of the Wild Grass Resort in Kazaranga National Park. And this national park is famous for the one horn rhino and it's also a tiger sanctuary. But today what we're doing is we're making our way over there and we're gonna stop at like a bus station. What's the bus station's name? It's a Jokala Bondha. Jokala Bondha. Jokala Bondha, yes. And, and this bus station is famous for its breakfast. It's it's basically open 24 seven because everybody stops there yeah. coming from all the states of Northeast India. And then he was telling me that they have like basically dava food, lots of food, but we're gonna have like a breakfast, a tali right. breakfast. Uh, tali breakfast, yeah. Uh, and right. what, can, what are we gonna try there? What type uh, of We'll get uh, dal, dal paratha. chati, parathas, rotis. So a real Indian breakfast. Uh, all Indian breakfast. Fantastic, how right. long until we get there, an hour? So it'll just an hour. Just an hour? All right. Perfect, let's go. Wait, let's go. The bridge which you are going to cross is uh, over the river Brahmaputra. The word Brahmaputra indicates means Brahma, the creator of the world, and Putra means sun in Sanskrit. So it is known as Brahmaputra, the river. So it was known as the Kolia Bhumura Bridge. The name Kolia Bhumura is, is that uh, what the Ahum, uh, sorry, the Assam was ruled by Ahums for 600 years. So among them, the Ahum general name was Kolia Bhumura. So the the bridge has been dedicated in his name. So it was uh, um, almost three, more than three kilometers, uh, the length, and we will cross while we are on our way to Kaziranga. The area around Tezpur is made up of rice farming. I think that's the number one industry here, right? Uh, not in, only in rice Tezpor. farming, we have got tea industry also, tea cultivation. Right here in Tezpur? Tezpur. Oh, yeah. Plus you have to go a little bit ahead. Okay, yeah, because I haven't seen any tea, any tea like a plantation at all, like yeah. nothing, but I've, all I see is well, rice farming. The town of Tezpur, of course. Okay. Oh man, this road is bumpy. Yeah, it's, really it's about to get worse, <laughs> right? <laughs> We are on our way to Jakhalabandha now. From the turning point, it is another 10 kilometers. We have almost crossed uh, three to four kilometers. We've arrived in Jakhalabandha. 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 And then, uh, yeah. is everything closed? No, yeah, no, you see, this one. Okay, okay, no, there's, there's, some, there's some places open here. Here we are in Jakhalabandha. <laughs> and we're gonna look for a restaurant. There's many restaurants here, as you see, lots of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, there's a few dozen here. And we're looking for one that has the tally. And they're really heavy on veg here. So just straight veg. Oh, wow. This is, this is it. Maharaja Hotel. The long bus, the route bus that flies from one end to another. They all, at night especially. They came, uh, they started coming here from 7.30 onwards. So it's full. It's full every day, right up to, say, uh, till 3 a.m., 5 3 a.m. to 4. So this is the Maharaja Hotel. We're gonna have a tally here. Is it a veg tally? The veg tally. How many items? Ten? Seven? Seven? Seven, seven. seven? Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. Seven. The guy's making chai right here. Can we have some chai? Yes, we can have chai. All right, I need chai. Chai, chai all day. Chai, chai. Oh, right there. Whoa. <laughs> I love it. I can drink chai forever. Starting off with some super, super hot chai. Mmm. Mmm. Nice and gingery. Mmm. So creamy. Mmm. Super milky. Delicious. Way too hot. Probably being hot. Oh my god. My, this is my first breakfast tally ever. This joint is pretty amazing. As he was saying earlier, this place is open 24 seven. So at night when people come, a lot of buses come, so they can't have actual doors, so they keep it open. And as you see, it's open air, very nice. Uh, we have like some fans, that's it. We have a lot of tables, I think it's like 25 tables. It's pretty jam packed right now. And everybody's like watching me film. Um, they, so they make the food right in front. There's like a mini kitchen right in the front. You have like six guys working there. They're making rotis, they're making paneer. They're doing like a few different things there. And then here we have it, we have puris. I went with the puris instead of the rotis. And then we have, um, so this is gobi alu matar. 
This is paneer burji, paneer masala, kheer in the middle, here. And then over here we have dal, just dal fry, perfect. And then also we also got some pickle right here. This is the spicy part, right? You should bring a lot more. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna open, start with the booty. Look at this. This one's actually like a lot more crunchier, like they can fried it more, and it just popped open right there. So like that, right? This is basically all of my hands. Alright, so I'm gonna start with the doll fry. Oh, look at that. Big chunk of doll. Right there. Mm. Oh wow, it's like a thick dull mash. Mm. I want to eat it straight. Mm. I'm in love with this doll. It's it's a little spicy, it's a little hot. It has a tomato in the middle, put the tomato on top, right there. Mm. Oh my god. I love it. Thick dull mash. The lentils are very small and you have onions as well. Oh man, this is so good. Mm. Paneer masala. Oh, it's gonna have it straight. Oh my god. Wow, delicious cottage cheese. Basically, this is a, like a cottage cheese curry. Masala with cottage cheese. Big, like big chunks of paneer. I'm gonna put it all in here right now. On top of the booty, make it like a mini taco. Mm. I just love paneer. Nice squares. They're not like too strong. That's what I like about paneer. It's like a light cheese. Mm. But with the masala, so good. Next thing we have is paneer burji. I love paneer burji. I had it in Mumbai multiple times. Oh, it's, it's basically like paneer eggs. That's what I, I think of it. It's like a scrambled eggs with paneer. They put tomato, they put onions. We just let them do it right there. I mean, it looks delicious. I'm gonna try just a little bit right now. Mm. This one's actually like very crispy. Mm. It's like they fried the paneer in the little chunks. Oh my god. My booty? Put it on top, right? Right there. Wow, it's still very oily. It's still super hot too. It's so good. If I lived in India, I'd be vegetarian because the food is like phenomenal. And they always use cottage cheese. It's like the main staple in veg food. And then obviously dal, but this paneer burji. Mm. Mm. Like it's so good. It's so good. Everything I've tried is so freaking delicious. What I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna get some of this paneer masala and the paneer burji, right? And then I'm gonna get some of the other one. Let's do a huge mix here. Like that. Wow, this is like a burrito. Mm. So many different textures. Mm. Oh, man. It is so good. Next up is the alu gobi mata. So it's basically alu, which is potatoes. This is some peas, some tomato in here. Mm. It's basically like a potato salad with like some masala and some uh, some different herbs and stuff inside. Some vegetables. You have to eat it with the puri. This all goes great with puri. Puri puri all day. I like it a lot. It's very light. And what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm also gonna add some of the, the pickle. Pickle is not too spicy. It's a little pungent. Not too bad. So for me, the dal fry was incredible. And then the paneer masala. Paneer masala all day. The spiciness is catching up to me though. It's so spicy in here. The pickle really affected me. The last thing we have here is the curd. So curd is like, it's almost like a, a rice pudding, as you can see. Rice pudding, very milky, very nice. 
Hmm? Hamoki rice pudding. Mm. Great way to end the meal. Mm. They also put some coconut flakes in here. Mm. Very sweet. Got that. Mm. No. He's like one of my favorite breakfasts ever. Veg breakfast on the side of the road here in Kajaraga. Who knew it could be this good? I mean, wow. Spicy, spicy. Mm. Oh, yeah. This is done. This gear is basically made so that you can like fight the heat. Because right now, you know, it's started getting really spicy after I ate all those pickles. And then, they help me out. And then that's it. Chai. I actually think they're bringing us a special samosa right now. Oh yeah, here it comes. And here we have a potato samosa. No garlic, no onion. Mm. Oh wow, so very hot. Just give out the fryer. Mm. I love it. Look at all the potato mash in there. You can see it's like steaming. Mm. So good, nice pepper in here. Nice masala with the potato. Very crunchy, very flaky. A samosa is basically like an empanada. That's the closest thing I know to it. <laughs> empanada. Wow. What an incredible breakfast tally. So good. Only 250 for the tally, and that's a special tally. Most people there aren't getting the tally like I got it. They're getting like maybe two things, a puri or a roti. But yeah, I mean, oh, so amazing, my friends. Thank you so much. I mean, the paneer was phenomenal. I'm, I'm a big fan of paneer. So I, I, yeah, I can eat right. paneer all day. And then, this is how it is. Yeah, so there's many restaurants like that one. I mean, they almost look identical. The kitchen's here on the outside. Inside, everybody's eating. You can get one, two, three, four, five things, whatever you want. And then they're making the roti, they're making the puris in the back. This is really, really cool. Wow, and it's, how many are there? Wow, another one over there, another one over there. I mean, it just doesn't stop. And they're all making the same thing. Yeah, they're making the same yeah. thing. Yeah, it's basically just Indian fare. A big mix of Indian cuisine. Yeah. They come, these people, on their long road, they will halt, they will stop for a, uh, for half an hour. After taking the breakfast, they will continue their journey. Okay, so this is this is one of the buses that comes in this route, and many buses like this come yeah, every day, like every non-stop, day. right? And yeah, so they're just going between states, either going to Upper Assam, to all the way to Lower Assam, yes. and then going to other states. Oh, yeah, right. And then, yeah, I mean, this is it, just a tiny strip, but lots of restaurants, this town is made up of that. I mean, is it even a town? Whoa! <laughs> now we are going to Walgras, which will take another oh, one hour drive. One hour? Yes. Perfect, so we're gonna go to the Walgras Resort. I'm so excited, I can't wait to see my room. It's in the jungle. It's not in the national park, but it's like in the wilderness. This one hour drive from Jalabanda to Walgras Resorts is beautiful. We're like in a, like a valley here, and it's, you see there's like a mountain to the right, a mountain to the left, we have a lot of like rice fields all over the place and the road is awesome. And the reason why the road is so good is because a lot of tourists come to the Kazaranga, right? Yeah. So they have they have a lot of money in this area, so they're putting a lot of work into the roads. I mean, it's, there's no potholes. I mean, they're really keeping up to date. And yeah, I mean, just beautiful. We're going like up and down this winding road. This is like, I feel like I'm in the jungle somewhere, for real. That's how I feel. You see wildlife on this road? Yes, you see. We see it during monsoon also, but uh, during the tourist season also, sometimes they cross the road. What do you see, like elephants? And stuff? Elephants, wild buffaloes. Then so, sometimes, of course, rhinos are also there. So we've just entered the, the park? Yes, we have already entered the park. Okay, and it's, uh, if you didn't know, Kazaranga National Park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's a tiger, uh, tiger sanctuary or mm, tiger, tiger, reserve. tiger reserve okay so there's i think there's only 36 tigers something like that yeah, it's more than much more than that much more than that much more than oh, okay they told me something around that number 
sorry. They told me that number, something like 30 something. Uh, no, it's not that. It's well, much more than that. Okay, so and but there's what they have a lot here is the one horn rhino, and it's the only place in the world yes, where you can yes, see the one horn yeah. rhino. And there's a few hundred, right? A few hundred rhinos. A thousand. 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 So we're gonna see endless and rhinos. Two thousand. Two thousand rhinos. Yes, yes. One horn rhino, tiger, Asian water buffalo. We got monkeys. We have boar. We have birds. Peacocks, I'm sure. A lot of different animals. This, this is like an animal corridor. Animals just keep passing by. So you gotta be really careful. Go slow. Stop if you see an animal. You really don't want to hit an animal here. You go to jail, right? You hit an animal. <laughs> Besides the fact that you might really get hurt. <laughs> animal safety. Wow. This is very nice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at the rhino. Look at the rhino. Yeah, go right here. Go right here. Oh, wow. Look at the rhinos. Yeah, they're the rhinos. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Look, guys, rhinos. Rhinos right here. And a baby. Oh, wow. This is incredible. As you can see, so many rhinos. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. Six rhino and a calf. Six and a calf, yeah. And a calf. Five. Incredible. And this is always like this? Sometimes it is more, sometimes it is less. And sometimes even people hardly can see any. any yeah, hardly. Yeah. And I'm sure sometimes they come up right here, right? Right, yeah. That is why they are putting the electric the fence. fence. So that yeah. They... Wow. And then there's also a monkey here. He's just like, he popped out of nowhere and he's like yeah. staring at my face. <laughs> he, was, he was like giving me the eye when I was filming him. This is why I came to Assam. <laughs> For this reason. All right, let's continue. Let's get to the resort. Hopefully we see some elephants on the way. Let's hope. That is the Western Range Bagori. Bagori. The name is Bagori. And it's the, what an entrance to the park? Uh, there's a Western Range of Kaziranga National Park. And what's the what, what's the range? What's that? What's that mean? The range means uh, the entire Kaziranga is divided into three range: Central Range, Western Range, and Eastern Range. Okay. That is the Western Range. Yes. Check out this elephant. Like to get down? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's get down. What was your name, Salam. Salute. Kishu, sir. Kishu, Kishu. Hey. Hey. Hey, here, Kishu. Even though it's domesticated, it's still amazing. It's, it's really amazing. That's it's right. It's still like. What's the name wow. of that uh, elephant? Do you remember? Uh, uh, elephant of wealth. Uh, elephant of wealth, but what in, in our world? Oh, Lux <laughs> Lakshmi. Lakshmi. Me, Lakshmi. <laughs> Let me, Lakshmi. <laughs> oh my god. So we're seeing all the animals here, all the wildlife. I mean that's domesticated, but it's still like it still counts as seeing the wildlife. I really love elephants, and that's the Asian elephant. If you didn't know, that's the Asian elephant that can be found all throughout Asia. I saw it a lot in Thailand, and yeah, just man, that was amazing. <laughs> that was, it's just special to see it, you know, to see them. Even though it's domesticated, it's still like you know this animal's alive yes. in here, you know. Here we have more elephants, guys. Yes. Look, look at this. Look at this. When you move uh, in somewhere else elsewhere then if you see elephants that is a very auspicious moment and people think that is a very good day for you so it's basically good luck for the day yeah yeah so in fact instead of one you have seen four i know <laughs> I, i've seen so many and so many no oh the cows are fighting there <laughs> so many elephants so many here's another like 10 right here oh my god this is incredible Woo! elephants Oh my god, there's a doe. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> In my face. Beautiful. Beautiful. Can I touch him? Okay, okay. Okay. I got it, I got it. Lots of elephants, man. There's so many elephants. And what they do is that when you start taking photos, they start asking for money, so I tipped them. Is it? I tipped them. I gave them something. Give them 50. Oh, yeah, it's a... 50 something, something, no? Yeah, right, right, right. I mean, you have to. If not, they're gonna get mad at you. <laughs> I'm sure they get mad. I mean, you can't just go in there and take photos of them. This is the town in Kaziranga. It's known as Kahora, which is five kilometers from our resort from Wild Grass I mean. So we are arriving to Wild Grass Resort and we're on this super narrow path. 
very rocky. What's over here? So we got some rice farm yeah, right here. Rice farm in here, right? Man, I cannot wait to see my room. <laughs> yeah, you definitely do. I'm so excited. I actually love staying in places like this because you're really out here in the wilderness at night. All you hear is just like animals. 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 Oh, cows. Wow, grass resort. And you see the building is like, it looks like, I don't know, it could be like Switzerland or, or like Germany type of style building, the architecture. Yeah, the wild grasses, that means uh, as far as the room is concerned, in each building we have got nine rooms. We have got two buildings. We have got 18 rooms plus one cottages. That one. So those are the cottages, the ones yes, out there. You're right. Hello. Right. So that was the dining hall. There you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then right across from here we have an old building. That's where I'm staying. This is super cool. Yeah, this is our main building. This is the main building. Yeah, another one, that one. So that's the second building. Okay. Uh, this building is only nine room, and another one there also nine room. So we have to another one kept quarters at the side. 104, am I on the first level or second level? First floor. First floor? Feels like it's a huge mansion that's been converted into a hotel. That's what it feels like. Wow. This is your room, 104. Light. Turn all the lights. Nice. This is like a cottage feel. We have two twin beds here. We have some nice bamboo chairs. We have, I guess, what is this? For massage? Single, single bed. Single bed, it looks like a massage table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, amazing, I love it. Like, I really love it. This is super relaxing. I can't wait to sleep here tonight. Hear the birds chirping, hear the animals outside. And yeah, I cannot wait to experience Casaranga. This is just the beginning. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this morning. We had such a delicious tally for breakfast in the town of, what was the village called? Chakalabanga. Chakalabanga. Chakalabanga between Tezpur and Casaranga. Super, super delicious food. I mean, some of the best paneer I've had. Man, and the puri and the samosa. I mean, everything was just so delicious. And then we drove over here to Casaranga National Park and we saw elephants on the street with all domestic elephants. We saw some rhino in the distance. We saw a monkey. And yeah, what an epic experience just entering. I mean, just, just that entrance. And we came here really early. We left at six in the morning, got here 9.30, but we stopped a lot. You know, it really takes like an hour and 40 minutes. But we stopped for breakfast. We stopped to see animals, got a lot of shots. And then we, we got here to Wild Grass Resorts. As you can see, beautiful place in the middle of the jungle. I'm super excited. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in India. Peace.